What's up guys, the James D T V here. I don't think you can see my face, but anyway, yeah, excuse the lighting. I'm using my school computer to film this video. So in this video today, we're going to do the ultimate unboxing of all my technology and stuff besides my iPhone. Um, I need that for this video. So, um, yeah, I wish I had a team of people, like a filmer or something, because this is uh, really hard to do on my own. So anyway, yeah, the mouse is here just to control the computer, so I'm going to actually turn that off. So I'm going to adjust the camera. Ah, shoot, I just knocked over my backpack. Well, whatever. So now, start with the first two things. Uh, shoot, just dropped one. Um, these are all original packaging, and some other stuff may just be packaging that is similar. I think actually all of them are the same, original. So I got AirPods, and I got a charging case. So these AirPods I bought for 150 from Fred Meyer last summer. 150 bucks for these. Second generation with the old wired charging case. Um, yeah, these are my personal ones. So, um, yeah. So they are paired to my iPhone. Let me just see. So they do show up. Um, they show up with the wired charging case on there. I don't think you can see it. God dang. I hate this. Um, I hate this computer's camera. Let me just try opening it now. Uh, I don't think you can see it. But yeah, it shows the wired charging case on here instead of the wireless one because um, it detects the case. So now let's open this one. This one, I like this one because it comes with a protective case. It bundles one. So then here's the case itself. The light is blue because um, the battery's low on it. Inside you get one of those little quality control pass things. I doubt that's real. Honestly, it could be. But, no, it seems fake. Um, just uh, set the boxes aside. I'll just set it over there. Damn it, why did I do that? So, right off the bat. Oh, shit. Damn it. And there goes one of my AirPods. Oh, man. I am not doing good. I am just dropping crap today. Wow. This is one of the first videos where I dropped... Wow, only one AirPod shot out. Well... Right off the bat, these look the same. This looks like apples. The hinge is plastic on the replacement one. These are 35 bucks on Amazon. I think this was um, 35 with the case too. So I'm gonna put the AirPods in my case, my new case. The only issue with these AirPods cases is sometimes they will not, your AirPods will not reconnect to your iPhone or device. And you gotta like let the battery die out on them completely, then recharge them and then they work which I ended up having to do twice already. So um, now let's open up my iPhone. We're going to open the lid. So I don't know if you can see it. I doubt you can, but um, I'll probably include a screen recording clip, but it actually shows the wireless charging case. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them back in the original case. I'm going to start a screen recording, so just a second. I'm probably going to cut this part out, but um, just got to open my AirPods case. Shows up with the wired charging case. And then um, let's take out the other two and um, put them in here and open it. They show up as the wireless case, so that's just how you know that they are one to one to apples. Um, there, so yeah, and then with the protective case, it, it protects your AirPods. I think these are like the they just literally purchased a, either they contact the manufacturers of these cases, and and they did that. Um, yeah, so we'll set the. AirPods over here for now. Um, next item, uh, Autobox Symmetry. I, I barely ever use this case. I had another case on my 5, but um, yeah, this one, it's just the Autobox case. I'm not getting my old phone out because I'm afraid I'm going to actually turn it on again. Now, I'll just move on to the next one. So, T500 Smartwatch. Fake Apple Watch. It's a Series 4 clone, 44 millimeter right here. Got the watch. Um, Comes with the bands inside. I'm not using these bands because I've accidentally destroyed the top one somehow. It just ripped when I was, um, the little black plastic piece came out when it was being removed when I was putting it on. And yeah. So here's the charger for it. It, um, 
It's one of these little puck chargers, but they're not like Apple's where it's wireless. It's literally just a freaking um. It's literally just two prongs. So I'm actually gonna put this on in the charger. Um, I got my portable charger since I don't have any outlets over here or an extension cord. So we're gonna wait for this to boot up. Look at that low risk screen. And it's got a bunch of freaking lines on it because I did drop this watch. This is my daily driver. I usually have a case on it, but yeah. It does have Apple Watch faces. Does this actually not detect the freaking. Oh, it did. What? Bruh. Are you freaking serious right now? Okay, the, the, okay, it's weird, but whatever. At least it sort of works with portable charger. I'll just set that aside. And I will grab my, oh, I forgot, I set the extras over here. This is the stuff I usually use on the watch. Um, these these bands are made for the real Apple Watch, but they do work on this one. I got a case for the real Apple Watch from Dollar Tree. Yes, I'm cheap. I get my screen protectors there too. Like, I'm actually serious. I get them there. Because I don't, I don't think it's worth 10 bucks to buy a piece of glass that's going to break one, at one point. These screens are plastic, so that's why I like it. Um, yeah, I put the Nike bands on, they fit. These are ones I bought off of Amazon. Um, 10 bucks. They're not the Apple Nike ones, which are 50. Stupid price. Um, who, who wants to buy, like, silicone bands for their Apple Watch for, like, 50 bucks? I can see why companies knock, make knockoffs of these. So, anyway, um, Aqua Thump waterproof speaker. This is the speaker I got for Christmas, so... Got the manual, got the speaker. We got this clip, which I'm actually not using on the speaker. I put it on my case for my AirPods. So, it comes with a micro USB cable. We don't really pay attention to the box contents. What you guys want to hear is the sound. It is waterproof. Uh, I did have an issue at one point where I don't know if I dropped it or something, but the faceplate was coming off. The grates on here. Alright, let's just play some song. Oh, like a song with this. Um, we're not playing a little barnacle, don't worry. We're not going to play anything bad. Um, really don't need to get any issues with YouTube. I don't know if this is copyrighted, but this is by Kyle Exum. the game, I'm a go who star. Ain't no hoopla to it, second guessing, y'all with no so chance. I can't be Susie, got the codes to the game in my... Yeah, so... That one's pretty good. I don't have the box for this, so we can't really review it. Next item, um, it's a smartwatch. It's another fake Apple watch. I don't use this one. Dang it, the, the sticker came off. It's the LH728 by Cardio. Um, it's got two buttons on like the T500. It's got these black bands, which I actually sometimes use on my T500. Um, the charger is different. Um, it's a clip-in. Unlike Apple, well, unlike the T500, actually trying to be similar to Apple's. But, um, yeah, I don't really use the freaking watch. Um, I have it as a backup for my T500, which I'm probably going to get a new screen put on it. And you're probably wondering how do you buy parts for a fake Apple watch. You buy a fake Apple watch and you do a water test video with it. So, that's a little sneak peek on what's coming up. Okay, um... My fake beats. I never did an unboxing with these. I've always used I use these sometimes. They're not audiophile quality, but um they are over ears, they do fit snug, they're fake beats studio three. Um yeah. They got the normal 3.5 millimeter, no audiophile plugs. Um just set those right there. But yeah, they look kinda like Beats Studio 3 or even Beats Solo. But um they don't have the, the, but the beats doesn't, like where the headband is, the top part of it is not padded. This part up here is not padded on the beats, it's plastic. But, um, let me just put this on. Try these on. So, yeah, they look like beats. I even actually drew the beats logos on the side. I forgot I don't have a headphone jack cutout on here, because this is an iPhone 7 case on my 6. Well, anyway, whatever, we're not going to test the sound, they sound good. I don't have the freakish ears on a stand, so... We're gonna unbox something that is not even an actual product, something I made. Um, right here. Um, X4 VR headset for iPhone 6, 6S, 7, 8, and SE 2020. Prototype. It looks like crap, don't worry. You're never, you're not really gonna like it. So in here, just waste of materials, but. 
Freaking VR headset's made out of a Galaxy A10e box. The uh, headband is a waistband off of some pajama pants I bought at Walmart that were too small. Um, yeah, let's put this on. Obviously, it looks like trash. And then also, I cannot leave this on because the material will start to irritate my nose. So, that's why I don't use this and I have a Gear VR. Plus, besides, it only had one lens in it and it doesn't give me, like, shielding to where it blocks the light around me. So, it does look weird when I'm trying to watch VR and it made my eyes hurt, so... Of course, it's a prototype, so let's just toss that over there. And luckily, there's nothing fragile in it. Now, the next one. Okay, this one's a little more expensive. Um, so for, I forgot to mention these headphones were um, shoot. I think they were they were seven nine six ninety nine. Speaker, I don't know the price. I got it for Christmas. This I heard these were like eighty bucks. A DV power portable DVD player, and it it also works as a mini TV. I will show you guys that in a sec, so in here, yeah. So, I'm going to come up to the camera. So, um, there are three of these 3.5 millimeter jacks on the side. That one on the top is for um, headphones. I use it for my desktop speakers sometimes if I want to use those. AV output to the TV, that's the yellow one. The green one is AV in, so you can actually use this as a TV. It's like a miniature TV, which is what my plan is. I'm going to buy a PlayStation Classic and then get the... Um, HDMI to AV adapter or cable or whatever and um, yeah so we're just gonna put that in the box because I'm actually using its stand just kind of like a dresser for the um for holding up my computer so then in here we've got of course you guys remember this it's technically it's not really technology but it's technology related it is my um, iPhone 6 case I was just using the 7 case just in case I dropped the phone during the video and I didn't want to break it. So we can get rid of that one. Put it back in. Ultra slim. I like it. Um, fits really good in my hands. It has a headphone jack cut out because 6 and 6s had a headphone jack. So now let's move on to the last one. Um, you guys have seen this before. I actually use it to edit my video. This video is actually edited on my school computer because I don't think there will be a way to transfer it unless I find a way. It's edited on my school laptop. So, Evo, um, 10.1 inch ultra thin laptop. This is non-upgradable, by the way. Got this from a friend, his name is Joey. Well, his name's Joseph, I call him Joey. He's my, he's one of my good friends. Known him for a few years. Um, shoot, I can't believe he's graduating high school this year, you know? When I first met him, I was like 10 and he was like 13. Wow. I'm gonna be 15 next week. Next week, as of making this video, this video is made March 11th, 2021. But, um, hold on. <coughs> I've done a lot of talking just to drown out background noise. But yeah, in six days, I turned 15. So, he sold me this for 20 bucks. These at Walmart go for 150 I got it for a good deal. So, the box was kind of screwed up, so I just kind of taped it. In here, um, all, all it came with was these... The cable and the laptop itself. I did shut down the laptop. But it says it has Windows 10 Home. It's got a front-facing camera, which is, I think, like... Let me look at the back. Um, um, resolution is 800 by 1280. That's good. 0 0.3 megapixel front camera. Um, mini HDMI. It's got one USB 3.0 port and one 2.0 port. I use the 2.0 port for my mouse. Yeah, let's get this... Um, let's get this booted up. It looks like a miniature MacBook Air, to be honest. Like the, the style, but it's obviously kind of taking away some of the Apple stuff. This is not upgradable. I Googled it. I looked at a website that has like upgrades for certain computers. I found my model, nothing. So external upgrades are possible. You can buy like a SATA SSD, however the heck you say it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm saying the way I heard it from another YouTuber. So you buy one of those, you get a cable that changes it to USB 3.0. You get a four port USB 3.0 hub. Plug it in your existing 3.0 port. You got four extra ports now. And then what you can do is plug in that SSD. I'm getting a 128 gigabyte one because it's the cheapest one I could find that had the most storage that I could get. That was actually worth my time. Uh, this has 32 gigabytes built in. Not enough. I have iTunes. I got the demo version of Minecraft on here. Um, I do have VR chat, which I am not really, it, it's, it's hard to get going. Um, yeah, so this laptop is not really made for gaming or anything. 
Honestly, you, you just buy it for your kid, just so then that way they have their own laptop. So, blue light comes on down here. Evo. Now, the weird part is when this starts booting up, you're going to see, you see the Windows logo sideways. I don't get that. That happened when I actually uh, reset the freaking thing because um, when I bought it from Joey, um, it started his stuff on it, but he gave me the code to get in, so I got into it and I reset it. it. Took about an hour and a half to do, and then I got it set up and everything. I got iTunes 3 tools. I got a lot of stuff installed on here. Finally. Yeah. Um, I do use an external keyboard on here, and I use my mouse because the trackpad's kind of finicky. But, um... Yeah, I usually use my Logitech mouse. I'm actually planning on getting a RGB mouse and keyboard. So yeah, you see that spinner is on the wrong side. It's weird. But um, yeah, it comes with the Evo charger. Honestly, this is one of the best ones I have had. Well, I like this more than my Chromebook. Number one, I can actually download like Steam VR and stuff onto this. I can get iTunes on here. It's not blocked with any school firewalls. Yeah, I got a Tesla wallpaper. It's Model X. Um, let me just sign in. Alright. Um, welcome. This is going to take a while, but um, it should load. No, is my screen scratched? Dang, that sucks. It's kind of scuffed. But it does have a high quality display. From a video I saw where they did a teardown on this thing, apparently nothing's upgradable. Um, look at that. Windows 10. It's beautiful. I do have um, Streamlabs OBS on here. I got OBS Studio VR Chat IV Cam, which allows me to use this as an external webcam. Um, Open shot video editor, iTunes, AVG antivirus, no Steam, I don't want you to update. I got Steam. Yeah, I've got three U tools. Uh, no. Um, I've also got SCP toolkit, which is for the PS3 controller. So basically, the takeaway of this video, now this is one of my longer videos that I haven't made for a while, I haven't really done long ones. But yeah, basically everything with this, um, why do I still have a Christmas decoration? I just noticed that right now, I still have Christmas decorations in my room, whatever. But anyway, like, from what I noticed, god dang, dude. Um, yeah, this is annoying, this is the hard part about filming with a school computer that has a cruddy freaking webcam. It says it records in 720p, honestly, my iPad's camera looks way better than this. Let me just turn on my light. I probably should have done it this way, but, um, basically, I'm getting nothing out of this video. I'm not even making a single dot. I'm making nothing from this because, um, YouTube doesn't want to monetize anyone anymore. You gotta have the freaking requirements now. Honestly, I remember before, you could just sign up for Google Ad AdSense. You're good, no matter how many subscribers you have. Say, you have, like, one subscriber, you can freaking do it. They changed that. Honestly, I could have been making money now, and I could have had a new iPhone. I could have had, like, a better freaking laptop. I could have... I just could have... I could have had AirPods Pro. I could have had an iPhone 12. But no, they changed the freaking rules. Honestly, it's stupid, but, um... Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. If, if you haven't already, just please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. So you'll be up, um, you'll be notified whenever I do an upload. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.